Do you donate money to homeless people? Uh, no. In the past, I've given out clothes and stuff to them on Christmas morning and helped some like drug addicts downtown Vancouver by giving them, um, it's funny, it might sound weird, but I gave them a bunch of Halloween candy one time because Halloween candy actually helps them get off like hard drugs because they actually get addicted to the Halloween candy so that they can stop being addicted to the hard drug and it helps them wean off. So I've done that in the past, but now I don't, I don't donate to homeless people. I don't, when I, like, I drive by them in my car, I see them with their cardboard sign saying, please, can I have some money? I don't donate. And it's not because I don't feel bad for them, I do. I wish they were not there. But what I want to do instead of not giving them anything at all, I want to give them an audiobook. I want to give them like a digital MP3 player with headphones. And in that audiobook, I want to just instill belief in them that they can get out of that situation, that they can manifest their ideal life. I want to pump them up with good thoughts. Because it's their thoughts that got them into that situation. And there's only the thoughts that are going to get, get them out of the situation. Me donating 10, 20 bucks, even 100 bucks isn't going to get them out of the situation. <clears throat> it's their thoughts that are going to do it. So <clears throat> if I give them if I give them 20 bucks or 100 bucks or even 5 bucks or whatever, that's going to reward them for begging. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make them think like, wow, I'll just keep doing this. But they don't want to keep doing that. It's like a, it's like a stripper. Strippers don't want to be strippers. They're only stripping because they need some money. Prostitutes, same thing. They're not having sex with you because they want to have sex with you. They're having sex with you because they need the money. They don't want to be having sex with you. So same thing with homeless people. They don't want to be homeless. Even if you pay them, they don't want to be making money like that. They want to be making money in other ways. So rather than giving them money, I'd rather give them an MP3 player with like a roadmap on how to think their way out of that situation and how they can actually go and get a job and get their life cleaned up and get off drugs and get off the streets and then maybe even start their own company, start their own job, um, start, start their own employ, employable situation for other people that could use it. So that would be something cool. I need to like stock my car up with a bunch of MP3 players, which I can get for pretty cheap online. I just need to do it. But uh, yeah, that would be something. That'd be something cool to do. Thought about that for a while, but now it's like time to actually do it. I should also put my contact info on that MP3 player so that like when they do make it out, they can contact me <laughs> and we can do a little interview together. Or maybe I'll just maybe I'll just add that to the MP3 audio recording. I'll be like, hey, by the way, when you put this into action and you get really good results, hit me up. Here's my email. Here's my assistant's email. And uh, we'll link up and we'll do an interview over Zoom or something. And we'll talk about your journey from street beggar to clean, happy Joe. Yeah, listening to audiobooks and seminars on repeat is a game changer. That's exactly it. That's how I pulled myself out of the gutter.